I'm Anil and today I'm going to talk about Magic Lantern. Okay, so what is Magic Lantern? Magic Lantern is a software that runs alongside your Canon firmware and it resides on your memory card, the SD card or the CF card of your camera and it's uh, kind of like a hack, software hack, it's only for Canon and it unlocks so many cool features in your camera that I don't even know most of it. I just used a few features and they have been a really uh, great plus for my photography. So today I'm going to tell you about a few of the features uh, of Magic Lantern that I use regularly and which I'll be using in my upcoming tutorials as well. And I'll also show you how to install Magic Lantern safely. Because installing Magic Lantern is kind of a risky process and you might even break your camera doing it. So I'm going to show you how to do it without breaking your camera and because I've been using it in my T2i 550D for almost two, one and a half year ever since I bought it and nothing has ever happened to my camera. Magic Lantern has uh, some of really cool features mostly it was made for cinematographers and videographers who uh, mostly use the DSLRs for shooting videos but uh, I don't do that, I only shoot pictures but uh, so I'm not going to tell you about the video features uh, on this camera because honestly I don't even know what they are and I don't know how to use them so the few features that I use for taking f photos are like uh, SDR bracketing I assume that uh, most of you know about SDR photography for that uh, you need to take multiple shots of different exposures and then combine them later on to get details on the shadows as well as on the uh, bright uh, parts of the photos some of the cameras, some of the higher end cameras and some new cameras these days uh, have the built-in features which allows the camera to take multiple exposures, shots but uh, for my camera, unfortunately, that, uh, that feature is not allowed originally but I can do that by the help of Magic Lantern and there's this feature called SDR bracketing which lets me take up to 9 exposure shots Automatic. Another cool feature is the intervalometer. What it does is it takes a uh, number of photographs uh, all after a certain interval of time. Say I tell my camera to take a picture every two seconds, then it just uh, takes one shot after every two second gap. And the other is other that I use is bulb timer. Normally, uh, for taking photos of long exposure, longer than 30 seconds, you need to have a shutter release, which uh, locks the shutter. Uh, of the camera and let you take a long exposure photograph with the help of a timer you can take photos like this without a to release because you're with magic lantern i can take up to eight hours of single exposure photograph and the other cool thing is the lcd sensor remote all right so what this remote does is say i set the lcd remote to near and I compose my frame and then say it's a landscape photograph and if I press the shutter I know it's gonna create a camera sick and you know ruin the photograph. So what I do is I tell Magic Lantern to use the LCD sensor as a remote and whenever I take my hand near the LCD uh, near the sensor it takes the photograph. It's pretty cool. Okay so you can change the settings from near to away or even wave so you know so that you don't just take picture accidentally okay so there are a bunch of cool features for focus and focus like track focus and follow patterns and everything i don't really know much about that but anyways so other features are custom iso which lets uh, the user choose the iso number like uh, 160 uh, 320 and 640 you know the actual levels which the camera doesn't normally allow us. These are some of the features that I use in Magic Lantern as a photographer. Now I'm going to show you how to install Magic Lantern safely in your camera. So yeah, uh, let's head to the computer. Okay, so here we are and the first step is to go to the Magic Lantern website and download Magic Lantern. Okay, for that just follow, uh, click on the link on the description and go to the download section and from there there's the version 2.3 is the stable release go and download it okay i agree and stop download okay so i've already downloaded the file and it's here on my desktop okay just open the folder 
and you see the install.pdf the first step is to get the right camera firmware version so here it says Canon 550D and I'm going to install it on 550D so the version is 1.0.9 just click on the link and it will guide you to it will take you to the Canon firmware directory from your site okay from there just click on I agree at the end and firmware update version 1.0.9 for mac os i'm using a mac system so just click on it and it will get downloaded so i've already downloaded the full uh, file and here it is with some weird number and stuff okay so just double click on the file okay so here is the e uh, firmware file now drag and drop it onto your desktop close it so for installing the firmware make sure that your card does not have any other files okay these two folders do not matter make sure that there is no file inside of them just copy the uh, .fir file onto your card papers and close it and eject so my card is in the camera and i'm going to update the firmware version Go to menu and on the card range you see firmware version this and press ok and press it and now you are uh, now a message will appear current version is this update okay so press update and wait for a while and the screen will appear it's gonna take a time and take a while do not worry okay so please select new firmware version yes let's press set and okay so updating now now do not switch this off the camera as it says because doing so might break the camera and you do not want that okay firmware update is done update is complete okay the firmware is updated and now the uh, next step is to format the memory card Press an OK, low lift OK. Okay, so let's take the ca card out of the camera and into the computer once again. Okay, so here we are and we got the right camera version. My card is back in the computer. The next step is preparing your camera. Fully charge your battery. Yeah, make sure your charge battery is fully charged. Remove any accessories. Use a simple SD card or CF card less than 32 GB make sure you have a card reader of course double check your Canon firmware which is did and rotate your mode dial to manual and restore your camera to default settings okay installation format the card in the camera lowly format unzip all of your files from magic lantern okay so the, mm, so the next step is to copy all the files now and put it on the root of the memory card that is um, over here okay make sure all the files are copied okay now is it the card so oh, I'm putting my card back into the camera turn it on okay now go to menu and again back to form a version okay again go to set okay now again you'll see this message current version is 1.2 0.9 update go to press ok and now you just wait now this is the hard part okay it's gonna take a while and you may see some screens and everything and okay success okay congratulations now you have installed your magic lantern okay now you uh, have to restart your camera just turn it off and on now your camera now has magic lantern the way to access the menu of magic lantern is to press the trash can button delete button okay now you'll see some very high tech menu this is the magic lantern menu uh, with some time uh, you'll get used to it now it may seem a little too difficult for you but you'll get used to it so yeah that's how you install magic lantern your camera now has so, there you go. Now you know how to install that plan.
and what are its features and what not though I don't know much about it I try to share what I know so I hope uh, you guys liked it so I'll be coming up uh, with uh, more photography as well as post posting tutorials do subscribe and uh, visit my page on Facebook uh, and let me know what you think post your comments and feedbacks